Welcome to the 2015 Rally America National Championship, combining some of the world's best drivers on some of the toughest stage roads in North America through eight rounds of racing spanning coast to coast across the United States through mud, snow, dust, and forest. One radio show is there covering all the action. This is Rally America Radio. All right, drivers just got done with a couple of stages here at Portland International Raceway. This is Jim Beaver. This is Rally America Radio. This segment being brought to you by Subaru and the all-new Subaru WRX STI. And uh, as uh, as all the drivers come in from uh, these two uh, these two super special stages here, I, I call them super specials. I guess they're just special stages. I don't know what to call them here, but they got four stages going down to Portland International Raceway tonight. We're halfway through. Two of them in the can. Two of them yet to go. Drivers now have a 45-minute service park where these crews can tweak on the cars, make some changes, make some adjustments, and uh, send them back out there for two more tonight. And then we got two days full of stages uh, on tap for Saturday and Sunday. Weather holding steady here at Portland International Raceway. No rain, few clouds. Uh, Temperature starting to drop, getting a little chilly out, but uh, no wind at all. Lights kicking on, track conditions starting to dry out, and we are going to catch up with some of these drivers. All right, catching up here with Cameron Steely. Uh, finally uh, got your feet wet with the uh, with the ST. I know uh, things didn't quite go as you had planned, but uh, give us a lowdown. Uh, yeah, it's a lot different. I uh, stalled on the start line, so that was kind of embarrassing. But that's what we got going. It was we, get, we it, it's a fast car, but a lot of wheel spin. I gotta get used to uh, modulating the throttle a little bit better. Be a little bit easier on it, not so uh, just gun ho. So that that's gonna take a little bit of time, and then. It was very tail happy. I think that was partially because of me and my driving, and it's very slick out there. But other than that, I mean, it was great shakedown stage. We kind of got a feel for it. We're going to see if we can make a couple modifications, and hopefully I can get a little less of a heavy right foot. All right, sounds good. Well, uh, you know, it looks like the guys are hard at work on the car, and uh, we'll catch up with you uh, tonight after the next two stages. All right, perfect. Sounds good. Thanks. All right, that was Cameron Steely uh, debuting that new ST here at Portland International Raceway. Round three of the Rally American National Championship, the Oregon Trail Rally, running four stages here. Four stages here at Portland International Raceway tonight. All right, catching up with Nick Roberts, who we uh, missed out on earlier. But, uh, Nick, I mean, uh, how would everything go out there? I know this uh, this rally, I know talking with Rhea, I was able to catch up with her. And uh, it's a little bit, little bit of an emotional rally for you guys. It is. I mean, it's really good to be back. I mean, this has to be one of my favorite events of the season, even though we've had just terrible luck. I mean, and the, so far we're 0 for 2 and finishes here with really bad wrecks both years. So this will be in our third year, hopefully the third time's the charm, and we're just going to hopefully have a really good fin- strong finish this year. And I'm just, just glad to be back, really. Well, you know, we've got uh, two stages in the books. Uh, go back out and do two more. I mean, you learn anything from the stages? How, how did the weather, I know wet track, I know you are talking tire choice earlier. Uh, any of that come into play? Yeah, you know, tire choice is definitely a big deal out here. We're trying to figure out what to do. You know, this uh, Friday night here is, is tarmac, and it's 90% tarmac, 80% or 20% gravel, 10% gravel, I should say. And, uh, you know, it, it's really the only event of the season where we get a lot of tarmac experience. So, you know, I look forward to coming out here and trying and having fun on the tarmac, but uh, now we got rain, so all of a sudden it's wet tarmac, and I have really zero racing experience in a wet tarmac. So tonight I'm really just trying to take it easy. I don't want to make any mistakes, put the car into any tire barriers or anything, and uh, just live through it to uh, finish tomorrow and hopefully not lose too much time tonight. That's the plan. So, uh, you know, looking at the whole rally as a whole, obviously finish tonight, uh, you know, keep the car clean going into tomorrow. I mean, you know, for you guys, what's the goal for the rally this weekend? Yeah, you know, I think the goal is to win SP, can be second overall. I think, uh, you know, I'd like to like to try to start knocking off some open cars if I can, but uh, those guys are fast and they're quick, and it'll take a lot of commitment to us to try to make that happen. But we're going to try to push on them anyway. Uh, no way we're going to catch Higgins, but I think we can settle in for uh, beating some of the other open cars. But tonight, like I said, we're just going to try not to lose too much time. Then roll into tomorrow, we'll just be flat out, uh, give it all we got, and then try to build up some lead, gain back any time maybe we lost tonight. And then uh, Sunday, hopefully, we'll just see where things shake out and push if we have to. Well, and I know, uh, you know, we, we haven't really talked about it, but you debuted a new car at 100 Acre in obviously not ideal conditions. So uh, this is really the first chance you're going to get to stretch this car's legs out and kind of see how fast it is. 
Yeah, and that's what I'm really excited about. Looking forward to tomorrow and, and the following day. I mean, it was kind of a big bummer at 100 Acre Woods to show the car, you know, have the car show up with a beautiful car. And uh, you know, yeah, the conditions weren't ideal. We had a little electrical gremlin we ended up uh, dealing with and caused us to have to pull out of the race. But we got it sorted. We're here now, and uh, it, it's it's a strong car. It's probably the, the nicest car I've driven that I, we've built so far. I'm really excited about it. I just to get out on the stages to do for tomorrow. It's going to be fun, and it's I think we're going to be able. To be able to kind of step our game up a little bit and you know like i said last week spending earlier in the week spending time with higgins doing some driver training with him it's uh it's it's i, I feel really good really confident and hopefully be able to take some of that and put it into practice this weekend it's one of those things you know you you get to learn from the best and it's one of those you think you're really really fast and you get in the car with higgins and it's like oh crap i got a lot to learn right well that's just it you know i was telling him when i started training with him like you know I, i've never been in a car faster than what i've driven it so I don't know what a car can do past what I can do with it. So just to have the opportunity to get in the car with him and, and, and have him drive my car and just see what this car is capable of just uh, really encouraged me and, you know, just it really wowed me. I mean, he's an incredible driver. And he's an incredible teacher, and I just enjoyed spending the time with him. Awesome. Well, uh, we'll let you get uh, – looks like you got about 30 minutes left, so we'll let you get, uh, get some rest, and uh, we'll see you out there for two more stages tonight. All right. Sounds good. We'll catch up later. All right. Thanks, Nick. Continue to make our way down through this paddock area, I guess, uh, service park, uh, paddock, service park, whatever you want to call it, but uh, making our way down here. All the cars are now back in from the first two stages, able to catch up with a couple of uh, the drivers. We're going to see if we can pop in here and uh, and sneak an interview with David Higgins. But, uh, man, talk about uh, some some uh, great racing so far out here uh, on these stages, on the tarmac. A lot of drivers really digging it. Uh, wet conditions uh, changing things up a bit, though. All right, catching up here with David Higgins. We got uh, gave, got a couple of stages in the books here. Uh, how's the car running? Yeah, absolutely awesome. Um, I just when I came in, I just can't believe how good this new 2015 car is. It's just so planted, and it's the first time we've obviously been on tarmac, and we haven't really done any tarmac setup at all for today. Normally, we sort of do brakes and different suspension. We just we just left it fully gravel specification, but it, it works absolutely awesome. So pretty tricky out there as well with the very mixed conditions you know some bits are very dry some bits are very slippy and certainly when you have the grass sections now they're cutting up and it's it makes it pretty slick but you know i'm really really happy with the car and um hopefully we can just get through these two stages clean and try and pick a good tire for tomorrow because we've got to nominate all our tires for the whole event tomorrow now so and that's gonna be pretty tricky because if it stays dry or it dries out very very quickly but it also can be very wet, so we're going to have to try and be smart and maybe be on a little bit of a compromise just in case. So, um, But, you know, DMAC have a great range of tyres, so between the two of them, I'm, I'm not overly worried, but I think it should be set us up for a good rally. Yeah. Well, it's got to have you pretty excited with this 2015 STI because, uh, you know, the first two rallies of the year, being on ice and snow and, and not ideal conditions, you can kind of finally stretch the legs and see how fast it is. Yeah, for sure. It's um, You know, we had a, a good dry test in, in 100 acres so I knew the potential of the car but um, it's a whole lot different when you actually get to a start line you get the full 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 go but the car's been awesome, we had a great test a few days ago um, and obviously now it feels good So, but I'm, you know, these days are great for the fans they're good fun and there's, there's a good challenge but you know, you, you've always got your eye on the, the sort of the, the real meat of the rally when you get into the stages but you know, this rally's unique that today's like this, tomorrow we go on to super fast stages and then Sunday's a very very technical day so it's one of those rallies where you can never just get into the same rhythm and expect it to work for every day you've got to really focus your mind each day to to make sure you're set up for the different sort of style of stages we're going to meet to well, and, and speaking of the stages, I know this uh, this rally, uh, you know, over the course of the next uh, couple of days, a really di- diverse amount of stages, you know, and uh, you get a little of everything thrown at you. Yeah, for sure. And so, you know, and that's what our sport's about, you know. Rallying is about different conditions, different types of stages, and this rally really tops it off. We, we have everything here but the snow, hopefully. So, um, you know, but even even here when you get up in the mountains, we've done recce's before and there's been snow in places, so you just never know what you're gonna what you're gonna expect. But it's a great rally. The organisers, you know, they really try hard to make it different as well. And you know, this format tonight for all the fans and being an area where you're bringing the rally into the people is is what we need to do because it is a difficult sport to follow. So um, having these opportunities like this, you've got to make the most of it and and, and put on a good show for everybody. All right. Well, thanks a lot, David, and uh, we'll catch up with you uh, later on. And uh, good luck this weekend. Thank you. All right, making our way through the service park here and uh, catching up with Brenton Kelly. Uh, got the Dirtfish badge on your suit. How, how did uh, how, how did the uh, tarmac stages go out there? 
went really, really well, actually. We're on gravel tires. Uh, we had some full slicks, but it was looking pretty wet out there, and the wet grass kind of... I, I felt like the, the risk of going slicks on grass was not worth the, the risk. So, really, it's all about the risk out here, and um, times are looking really, really good, surprisingly good. Uh, I think we're only about five seconds behind Nick, and we're a couple seconds ahead on Fatella, so... Uh, just going to keep the same pace here tonight and uh, get out tomorrow and actually do some pushing. So, having fun. How uh, how was the new gearbox? I know that was one of the things coming in. Uh, you were kind of kind of hoping. Uh, no, you said you felt like you had more power, but it, you know you just never know. I mean, feel good. Yeah, definitely. Uh, a couple times where I'm maybe a little too eager with with the shifts, but uh, it's actually feels a lot more aggressive, and the whole car feels a lot better. I mean, these guys did a really good job in between the events, getting the car set up good, and uh, I'm having fun. The car's feeling great, so keep that going. All right, sounds good. Good luck uh, out there for the next two stages. Awesome, thank you. All right, All right catching up with uh, David Sterks. How's everything going? I heard uh, possibly a little bit of a fire. Yeah, at the end of the first stage, uh, the the, front of the the bottom of the engine was in fire, and um, so, so we had to shut it down. And uh, and I thought that we were that was going to be it, but then we shut it down in the car. Everything was looking fine, so we did the second stage without the the anti lag and not careful. We went, but we more careful that uh, we will have been usually. And uh, and actually, it's we have a new uh, a new carbon uh, skid plate, and it was it was hitting on the it was uh, against the headers, and that's what cut the fire. So it's uh, actually the skid plate that cut in fire. But maybe uh, definitely a benefit to having these stages here tonight instead of things happening out on the stages, huh? Well, yeah, because if that well, actually yes and no because we we shut it off and then it was fine. So, but yeah, it it, it could have been really bad. That's for sure. So I hear you uh, new engine for this uh, for this round, and also maybe new gearbox. Well, new everything, <laughs> new engine, new gearbox, new. The car is completely redone inside, outside. So the suspension and FY Racing did a really good job, and the the car is really good. And so now I'm I can't wait to go. I mean I'm already happy to drive here tonight because I, I like all of the stages. But uh, yeah, tomorrow it's gonna be like the real day. All right, thanks a lot, David. Good luck. Thank you. All right, making our way through the paddock here. And uh, Adam Yeoman next up on the list. Uh, kind of tell us, uh, give us a rundown through the first uh, two stages. Yeah, good little start, I guess. Um, give us some time to Higgins and some to Sturks, which I guess he's my teammate, so I shouldn't be too upset about it. But, you know, it's, it's a sore subject. Uh, yeah, it's okay. Slippery out there, really tricking some spots. And so we're just kind of taking it easy, clipped a little bank or a wall or something. But no damage, so onwards and upwards. All in all, car uh, feels solid. Looking forward to... Uh, yeah, uh, I guess the rest of the night and tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, it'd be great to get through these two. Um, hopefully, no more drama. Just nice clean run, and then get on the gravel tomorrow and have a good push and see if we can make this time up. All right, thanks a lot, and uh, good luck. Thanks. All right, and that's been our quick run through of the service park area. Uh, these guys are starting to roll out. We're gonna have live coverage here in just a uh, in just a little bit of uh, of the next two stages. So uh, uh, sorry it was brief, but we gotta wrap things up here on Rally America Radio so we can uh, bring you some more coverage here in just a few minutes. I gotta make my way out on this tarmac to the under other end of Portland International Raceway so I can bring you some live play by play commentary here in just a few minutes. Thanks for staying tuned to Rally America Radio. I'm your host, Jim Beaver, and uh, we'll be back at you in just a few minutes with some live play-by-play commentary from the stages here at Portland International Raceway. The Subaru WRX and WRX STI, a 268-horsepower turbocharged Subaru boxer engine, rockets the WRX around corners and down straightaways. A race-ready 305-horsepower turbocharged Subaru boxer engine keeps the WRX STI a rally legend. The Subaru WRX and WRX STI. It's not a sibling rivalry. It's a tag team. Get the latest from Subaru Rally Team USA at Subaru.com slash rally.